What's up everyone? Welcome to a one kill tutorial on how to uh, over provision your SSD. Now you might be asking what is over provisioning and why do we need to do it? Over provisioning is taking up some space on your SSD to allow for the garbage collection par portion of your SSD to work. The garbage collection portion of your SSD allows for your SSD to perform at maximum performance over the life of the drive. For instance, when you go to delete a file, if you do not have trim space or trim enabled on your device, that de that a uh, piece of data will sit on your drive and wait and be wait to be written or overwritten uh, at a later time. What Trimmel does is it goes through on its on your SSD's downtime and it allows you to clean up the, that area of the block which allows for the fastest speed possible when writing to that section. I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of you people, but when you're in the tech industry that probably made a decent amount of sense. So, it's just a bit you want maximum performance, you do this. All right. So, well, to, and to start the, off this process in Windows, we go to Start Panel, or Start uh, Menu, and Control Panel. Now, you're going to want to get to a thing called Administrative Tools. If you see this, if you're in this view already, go to the View By button in the, or the View By section in the right-hand corner, select Category, and select Large Icons. Find Administrative Tools, and next we're going to find Computer Management. This will bring up a new window here. I'm going to bring it down for a sec. Actually, no, I'm just going to move my camera back. We're going to find, a uh, on the left-hand side, under Computer Management, find Storage and Disk Management. Click it once, and it will take a couple seconds to load here. Uh, like I said, it might take us a couple seconds to load, so you know if, it does, if it's not responding or anything, just don't worry about it. It'll come up. All right. So I have a bunch of drives here, so we're going to ignore all of these things. I have a bunch of raids and garbage. So, we're going to go down to our drive down here. Drive 10. It's a new volume. Your SSD probably looks like this if you haven't mucked with it or you just got out of the box. If you have it, we'll get to that in a second. But if your SSD looks like this, it's, it's going to be as one healthy primary partition. Go ahead, right-click anywhere in this free space, and go to Delete Volume. It will ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we do. And this will leave you with unallocated space. Your SSD may come like this, and that's okay. Either way, you need to be at this step to continue, so let's continue. Go ahead, right-click on any of this uh, empty space here, and do new simple volume. This will bring up a new window, and it will say, do you want to continue next? Now, this is the part where we get to decide uh, how much space we want to allocate. It's in megabytes, not gigabytes. So you're gonna to have to do a little bit of math. So, to begin, we want to uh, we want to provision about 15% of your total disk space to be used for trim. Now, industry standards 15, around 15. I like 13%. Usually, it gives good numbers when you're dealing with uh, with odd size SSDs or, or just odd sizes. And I, I feel like it does a little bit better job, especially since you know, as I'm going to get to next. Not all drives or drives do not come as the advertised size. So, for instance, this is a one terabyte device, and I only have 931.51 gigabytes available. So, what we're going to do is we need to, as I'm going to provision 13% of 931 gigabytes. Coming over to our calculator over here, 931 gigabytes times point thirteen. That's for the percent. That'll give us 121 gigabytes that we need to allocate on our device here. So, we have a problem though. Megabytes, gigabytes. So, to make this really easy, sorry for the shaky hand here, we multiply by 1024. 1,024 megabytes in a gigabyte will give us with 123,934-ish uh, megabytes. We go back to our simple volume size in megabytes field. Oh my lord, hand is shaking. We eat. We enter in 123934. Click next. Now, since this is space we're not going to use, Select the Do Not Assign a Drive Letter or Drive Path. Select Next. We do not want to format this space. 
So click the do not use, do not format this volume and click next. It will give you a confirmation just asking you, are you sure you want to do this? Finish. And it will leave you with two partitions on your device. 120.03 gigabytes of raw space and 810 gigabytes of unallocated space. Now, you are free to add in as many more partitions using this uh, using this next part of the tutorial as, as you like. However, I'm, sure, I'm going to assume that a lot of you guys are not going to be doing that. So we're just going to continue like we're just making one single partition that we're going to use for everything. So this is our unused partition that's going to be used for trim and, da and garbage collection. And this is the space that we're going to use to allow our, our Windows install, our games, our documents, whatever, to be installed on. So, like previously, right-click the unallocated space and go to uh, New Simple Volume. Go ahead and select Next. And it will 99.99999% of the time autofill this with the exact size of this. If not, select enter in the data from this into this. Otherwise, this is the full space that is unallocated. Select next for me. Assign whatever drive letter you like. I'm going to select uh, S for shit. And it will say, oh, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, yes, yes. Click finish. It will say formatting. And when it's done formatting, you will get whatever you whatever you get here. And uh, actually, it should have came up and said, do you want to name this? Yada, yada, yada. I didn't. It will allow you to do that. But whatever. Fuck it. It did. So, and there we go. There's our new volume. So we're going to go in here and just take a look. When you start up your computer every day, you will not see your 128 gigabyte partition here. You will only see your... As soon as it's done refreshing here. New volume, 810 gigabytes available. You will not see your 120 gigabytes, 21 gigabytes, because it was not uh, formatted. So this is how you go ahead and over provision an SSD to allow for maximum, uh, maximum uh, efficiency as well as maximum read and write speed. So thanks very much for watching, guys, and uh, leave any comments below if you have any more questions or concerns, and I'll see if I can help you out. Otherwise, have a good one.